Welcome aboard, Trini. Today, we'll discuss the use of a flight route as loaded from the mission editor. Keep in mind that the PBI-800 flight navigation system can only operate with up to six preloaded waypoints, so consider this limit when creating the route in the mission editor. Routes created in the ABRS cannot be used by the PBI-800 navigation system. During pre-flight, perform a test of the navigation system prior to takeoff. Set the altimeter pointers to zero. Set the minimum safe altitude. Check the heading indication on the HSI and magnetic compass are in relation to the takeoff heading. Check that the selected NDB radio bearing RMI needle is correct on the HSI. Check that the mode selector switch on the PBI-800 navigation control panel is in the operation position. Check that the waypoint push light is on and the desired waypoint number is displayed on the keypad. Check that the DH DTA manual auto switch next to the HSI is set to auto. Check that the DH DT switch on the autopilot panel is in the correct position. Check that the helicopter's position on the ABRS is at the initial point and the heading is to the first waypoint. Start the flight time clock. Route autopilot flight should be performed when the INU heading data select switch is set to gyro. The DH DTA manual auto switch should be set to auto position. After takeoff and having stabilized the helicopter speed and heading, trim the helicopter to neutralize the force on the controls and engage route flight mode by setting the route descent switch to the route position. The route and DH advisory lights will turn on to indicate engagement of the set flight mode and the helicopter will initiate a turn to the first waypoint with a bank angle up to 15 degrees. According to the selected DH DT switch position on the autopilot panel, the helicopter will automatically turn toward either the waypoint from its current location or intercept and stabilize on the desired course track. Once you have climbed to the desired altitude, set the altitude stabilization selector BRRD switch on the autopilot panel to the desired position according to task. Engage the altitude hold autopilot channel by pressing the blue push light marked out hold. When the radar altitude hold submode is on, the HUD altitude scale and the numeric are visible when below 50 meters. When the barometric hold submode is selected, a barometric altitude numeric is indicated on the HUD. When approaching the next waypoint in DT mode, a linear lead turn is estimated in such a way that prior to reaching the waypoint, an automatic turn is initiated to intercept the next track on the route. In DH mode, on the other hand, the turn begins when the waypoint is passed. In both DT and DH modes, the next waypoint light will illuminate 100 meters prior to turn initiation. The automatic turn is then initiated towards the next waypoint with a bank angle no more than 15 degrees. When the turn is initiated, the current navigation route data is replaced by the data of the next track in the route. Five degrees prior to reaching the new heading, the next waypoint light goes off and the heading is automatically corrected in accordance with the current location of the helicopter at the end of the turn and drift angle. The procedure for other tracks in the route is the same.
250 meters before the last waypoint, the route end light will illuminate. Two kilometers after passing the last waypoint, the route mode disengages, the route end light goes off, and the helicopter stabilizes on the current heading. Monitor the aircraft's position on the Avers map, the automatic calculation of navigation parameters, and compare the heading information on the HSI and the magnetic compass. Depending on the flight plan, you may need to switch ADF channels and use NDB bearing indications to properly navigate to the intended navigation point. When in flight director mode, the task of the pilot is to maintain the angular position of the helicopter with the cyclic and altitude with the collective by using the directors indicated on the HUD in ADI. Preparations and engagement procedures for this mode are the same as for automatic route flight mode. To disengage the automatic mode and enable director control, it is necessary to press the FDAP push light on the autopilot panel. By disengaging automatic control, the automatic angular stabilization is disabled, but dampening remains for all channels. The joint pitch, bank director, and altitude director appear on the HUD. The desired airspeed is maintained by changing the pitch angle, and the altitude is changed by adjusting the collective. When flying with director control, it is necessary to set the pitch and bank angles with the cyclic in reference to the aircraft datum. Use collective pitch adjustments to decrease the altitude director to the minimum. If the altitude director is increasing up, it is necessary to increase the collective pitch. If it's going down, decrease it. To set a new airspeed and altitude, it is necessary to press and hold the trim button and change the speed and altitude. Then, release the trim button and the current values of the airspeed and altitude are set as desired. By pressing the FDAP push light on the autopilot panel again, the flight director mode is disabled and automatic control is enabled. To change the waypoint sequence in flight, take the following steps. Disengage route mode by setting the route descent switch on the collective to the neutral position. Turn off the waypoint push light on the PVI-800 navigation control panel. This light and the waypoint indication number on the display will go out. Push the waypoint push light and it will illuminate. On the navigation control panel keypad, set the new first waypoint by pressing the corresponding keypad button. The number waypoint will then be visible on the display. Press the enter push light and the first waypoint will be saved in the navigation computer memory. Repeat this process for the next five waypoints. When complete, turn off the waypoint mode. The new waypoint sequence will be saved in the navigation computer memory. To activate the route, press the waypoint push light again and check the correct flight direction to the new first waypoint of the route. Engage route mode by setting route descent switch on the collective to the route position. Depending on the selection of the DH-DT submode, the route DH or route DT lights will illuminate and the helicopter will initiate automatic turns to complete the new route. Ten target points can be stored in the PVI-800 navigation system. Each TP coordinate is loaded into the navigation computer from the mission editor or manually while in flight. While in flight, the route mode can be used to navigate from any waypoint to any selected TP by the shortest distance. This can be done with heading stabilization and DH or DT submodes. In addition to the target point symbol on the HUD, the target's bearing and the distance are also displayed if the target is less than 100 kilometers away. Ingress procedure. Disengage route mode by setting the route descent switch on the collective to the neutral position. This will cause the route DH, route DT, light to go off. Press the waypoint push light on the navigation control panel and its light will go off, as well as the waypoint number indication on the display. Press the navigation target push light and its light will illuminate. From the navigation control panel keypad, 
press the button with a target point number that appears on the display. Navigation data for the automatic flight to the target point from the helicopter's current position is processed and indicated on the HSI navigation control panel and the HUD. Engage route mode by setting the route descent switch on the collective to the route position. The helicopter will then initiate an automatic turn towards the target point. When approaching a target point, the route end light illuminates. Two kilometers after passing over the target point, the route mode will disengage, the route end light will go off, and the helicopter will stabilize on its current heading. When using route mode, you may fly to one of two preloaded airfields with heading stabilization in DH or DT submodes. The navigation data indications are the same as for the next waypoint. Airfield ingress procedure. Disengage route mode by setting the route descent switch on the collective to the neutral position. This will cause the route DH, route DT light to go out. Press the waypoint push light on the navigation control panel and its light and waypoint number on the display will go out. Press the airfield push light and its light will illuminate. From the keypad on the navigation control panel, press the button of the airfield number, one or two, that appears on the display. The navigation data for automatic route flight to the airfield from the helicopter's current position is then processed and indicated on the HSI and navigation control panel. Engage route mode by setting the route descent switch on the collective to the route position and the helicopter will initiate an automatic turn towards home base. When approaching an airfield using this method, the route end light will illuminate and two kilometers after passing over the airfield, the route end light will go off as well as the navigation control panel indication. Automatic flight steering will then disengage and the helicopter will stabilize on its current heading. If a navigation task is not selected, meaning that no waypoint, target, or airfield is selected from the navigation panel, it is possible to engage route mode to maintain your current flight path. Thus, current flight path parameters like pitch, roll, yaw, and altitude are saved in the navigation system. To engage route mode without a task, switch off the task button from the navigation panel, waypoints, targets, and airfields. The position of the desired heading, desired track angle switch, does not influence navigation. Once the helicopter is stabilized in the desired flight path, engage route mode by setting the route descent switch on the collective to the route position, and the helicopter will hold current flight parameters and bearing. To change flight parameters, press and hold the tremor on the cyclic stick. Set new flight input, release the tremor button. While in flight, monitor the aircraft's position on the Avers map and compare the heading information on the HSI and the magnetic compass. Depending on your flight plan, you may need to switch ADF channels and use the NDB bearing indication. This concludes this lesson on flying a route. You can take over control by pressing the escape key and continue the flight. Good luck.